So what is a recession? And more importantly, what can we do about it? We're all familiar with recessions. If you're older than 10 years old, you've lived through one. And if you're older than 35, you have a really good idea of what one feels like. But most of us have no idea what recessions actually are, or ultimately what causes them. In order to understand recessions, it's good to start with a basic model of the economy. Every single person, business, and even the government, maybe especially the government, are participants in the economy. Economic growth is measured by the total amount spent by all those participants. If the total amount spent goes up, the economy is growing. And if the total amount spent goes down, the economy is shrinking. And if the economy shrinks for more than two quarters in a row, we are technically in a recession. So what causes spending to drop? It can be any number of reasons. In 2008, a banking crisis forced credit markets to dry up in an instant. And without access to credit, consumers and businesses were forced to suddenly cut back spending. That sudden decrease in spending pushed us into one of the deepest recessions in history. In 2001, a stock market bubble burst, which caused investors to lose confidence, followed quickly by consumers and businesses. So if recessions can be caused by lots of different things, how do we know when one is coming? And the answer is, we don't. While indicators like consumer confidence, corporate earnings, debt levels, and consumer spending can give you an idea of when we might be due for a recession, recessions can occur without warning. So what can we do as business owners to prepare? Here are a few ideas. One, keep cash on hand. Recessions typically last between six and 12 months. So if you have six months of your operating expenses on hand, you're probably in pretty good shape. Two, track your business. One of the biggest challenges I run into with business owners is they don't regularly track their businesses. If you've noticed substantive change in your business over the last 12 months without any identifiable causes, there's a good chance it was caused by a recession, but you wouldn't know that if you're not tracking your business. Three, keep marketing. It's natural for us to cut back on discretionary expenses when times get tough, but marketing is not a discretionary expense. Especially during recessions, it's important for your customers to know that you're still there. So whatever marketing you've been doing, at the very least maintain it. And four, reassess your business plan. No one writes a business plan with the expectation of the economy going down. So if it does, it's time to pull out that business plan and reassess. That is, of course, assuming you have a business plan. So while recessions can be damaging to businesses that are unprepared, for those that are prepared, they create tremendous opportunities. After a recession, everything is cheap, from used equipment to labor to real estate. So for businesses that are prepared, they can not only survive, but thrive. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave any questions or comments in the comment section below and visit me at my website.